Just relax and concentrate on your breath. Little tiny mousy breath. Very good, excellent, very still. Uh, we've got Luke's mum here who's come in to visit and to tell us about Luke's progress. I'll tell you something about Luke. He was in the last workshop we did in February and um, he can't be here, unfortunately, because he's been invited out by friends for a treat. So, <laughs> so Luke's mum has come and she's going to talk about Luke's progress. Hi. Okay, so Luke started off and it was a little hard and he was having a hard time with it. And we told him to stay with it and we were really consistent. I will say that we were really, really consistent, um, especially that first week. And after a week of doing it, and I would say Luke, Luke is very small of stature. He's always been bright. He does fine in school. He's very, he's very still, but his color has always been very pale, and he was a little sickly and very small, uh, and never, ever athletic. He struggled with that, that athleticism in a way that our other children do not at all. So it's not really in our family line, and it always made me kind of wonder, why is he so slow? Um, and so he got in the car after a week of doing the Buteco um, very consistently. After school, he, he got in the car and he said, Mom, today during math, we had a race across the field and I beat everyone in my class. And I was like, maybe, maybe not. Are you sure you beat everybody? I mean, there's some really big kids in the class. They, he's never fast. He's never beaten anyone, I would say, in a race. He's just very slow. I was like, are you sure you beat everyone? You beat, you know, I know the kids. Yep, I beat everyone, I promise. And so later his math teacher did confirm, yeah, Luke beat the whole class. He's fast. Um, and then we started, he, so he continued. Just seeing that much and, and seeing his color start to improve and he wasn't as tired in the mornings when I'd wake him up, he was motivated at that point to really keep going on his own. And he did. We were very consistent with it. And now it's been a month, but I would say even after, so after three weeks, his soccer coach so soccer season starts again and he's had the same soccer coach for now two solid years which is four seasons and a soccer coach and his soccer coach's wife came up to me at the last game so this is brand new season what what happened to luke he's the fastest kid on the team he's amazing he's in every play he's so aggressive he just doesn't get tired he's everywhere and he really was my husband and i were watching from the side and going oh my gosh he is in every play and his kicks are harder and everything it's like he's a different child. So we are sold. We're very, and he's so happy, of course, because he can see the difference. I even asked him, I was like, do you get tired on the soccer field? And he was like, no, I don't get tired. I, don't, I just don't run out of air. And I asked him, I said, do you ever pant? Because I thought the whole thing about like panting, it just seems like that's such a natural thing that people always have done. But when you have um, intense exercise, it just seems like mouth breathing is going to happen. But I remembered you saying that that's not, that's not part of the norm for healthy people. And so I was kind of curious. I said, did you, did you breathe through your mouth at all? Because, you know, he's sprinting. He's a forward, so he's sprinting up and down the field the whole game, you know, no rests. I said, did you, did you breathe through your mouth at all? And he said, no, I didn't have to. I didn't have to. I breathed through my nose the whole time. So it works. It works really, really well. Has Luke's attitude or attention changed at all? Um, well, being that we didn't really struggle with that, I would say it hasn't tremendously. I would just say in him, I see more energy. He did say his, it's easier for him to get his work done and he can focus a little bit better, but his deficiency was showing up in other places more so. So, what, so for that particular child, I would say it's not, that wouldn't be the thing we were looking for. Although I, I do think it's, it's improved. It's just not the, the big hallmarks we're seeing. His color is drastically different. He's got beautiful pink skin um, and the, the big bags under his eyes that we thought were just part of my Lebanese culture are gone. So it, that's great. I think he will always do this because the change he has seen, it motivates him to keep going. Yeah, well, I was talking to a mother who uh, we're working with now. She trained her son some years back with my supervisor. He had asthma. He's now a tennis coach in Australia. Wow. That's and great. He says that the youngsters 
are getting injured younger and younger that they can't mm. make the professional level and it's because of the breathing and he knows that mm -hmm. because that's his experience he was able to become a good tennis player because he trained his breathing right so you know this is what we've got we're faced with children who can't do their optimal best because their breathing is not set and you listen to a story like luke it took four weeks it's really inspiring to hear this story you want to say something about madison carey because madison's scores are fantastic she has food intolerances lead exposure mercury learning disabilities um <coughs> reading math, she's six. And so, you know, I started this. She has a lot of sensory things going on. She's in occupational therapy. She has an IEP. And I could tell right away, like, falling asleep was so much better. It wasn't this, like, 45 minutes to get her to sleep and calming her body down and touching her and, like, patting her back and everything like that. Her cat allergies have improved, <laughs> which has been amazing. We have a cat, and she's not sneezing all the time. Her academics, so over Christmas, I didn't tell the school anything I was doing. Over Christmas break, we did no academics. All I did was like hit this very hard to make sure we got our like four exercises in a day. She came back in January. The school is like, I don't know what you did over Christmas. It was so great. Like she's, her academics has improved. Her reading's improving. Her letter reversals have improved because she was reversing a lot of letters and having problems with eye tracking issues. And they just saw such great improvements. We went to Mexico and she was on a trapeze and she swung on a trapeze and did a flip. Like a kid and hung by her knees. A kid who has core strength issues and coordination issues. And even yesterday, she had a, she's doing this reading log where she has to read to me and she's just in basic like, you know, Bob books or whatever. And I could tell the first book was good. The second book was good. The third book was bad. She just was like, quit. We did exercises and she finished the third book. I mean, she really needed that like calming her down and how the exercise totally calmed her down to do it. And I think for her, it's just one of those things that like she was very sick when she started. So I'm happy with like, I mean, yes, I would love everything to happen overnight, but her confidence has totally gone up. Um, the teachers are noticing stuff. You know what I mean? Like after all the right people are like, you know, happy with her progress. I actually pulled her out of all of her private therapy, and this is all we're really concentrating on. We're a family full of educators, right? They saw the improvement. I mean, they've seen the improvement big time. They're like crying when they saw the video of her crying, of her reading yesterday. And then also, too, I've been doing it, and I've had, you know, really good games myself. The one thing she told me when we were in Mexico, she's just like, my body has so much more energy. It's telling me to move right now, and, to, but, and it wasn't before, which I thought was very insightful. Well, kids are like that. They are very insightful. Well done. Thank you very much, Carrie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Madison. Just relax and think about that breath. Little tiny breath. You might want to take a big breath, but we just want you to take a little tiny one. Very good. Okay, so relax for just a minute.